Hello, I am Matthew Kesselman, author of Buried Vapors, and today I'm going to give you the most important writing advice of your entire life. The 77 most common mistakes of all beginner writers. With this knowledge, the possibilities are endless. I will now begin to list the 77 most common mistakes of new writers. One, having central characters with two similar of names. Two, having characters waste time using the bathroom or walking around. Three, nineteen, making all your male characters have two sons and three dogs. Thirty-nine. Being weirdly obsessed and pervy with descriptions of female anatomy. Fifty-eight. Misspelling a part versus a part. Seventy-five. Failing to learn basic grammar. Seventy-six. Having not read a book in the last five years. And 77, mindlessly following the banal and generic advice of random people on the internet who could not possibly teach you how to write well in a 10 minute video. So they instead rely on the insecurities of new writers to fuel their platform. Oops. Okay. I uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to make this conversation. Uh, I didn't really have any topics planned. But I don't want to seem so cynical about giving writing advice or giving simple tips. But the the thing about writing you got to understand is that it's so contextual. If you're writing a children's story versus if you're writing a smut novel, the expectations of what you're delivering are just completely worlds apart and even in the same genre let's take literary fiction for example you have your capture of the rise of the world and then you have your blood meridians of the world and they're working on very different axes so to give a generic rule set as a firm answer for what you should be doing i think is a disservice to all new writers i think instead what you you need to do is build up a toolkit of basic good practices and then allow insights from each individual work to dictate where you go from there so what do i mean by good practices well you got to know grammar you got to know the basic toolkit of the 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 language you're writing in right so how can you form sentences in ways that sound appropriate to most readers versus sentences that don't make any sense and then once you learn that basic grammar skill set you know when to break it. And I, I think from there, you just, you, you read a lot, right? You, you need to get insights of how story structure works. And you can either get that through osmosis just by reading a ton of different stories, or you can study some other content. But to just think in terms of small rules and tips doesn't make any sense. Because what new writers really need is a foundational knowledge and the bones of building a story and writing prose that's readable before you worry about should I have a character waking up from a dream or not. Once you build that toolkit, you'll understand if that makes sense. And even if it doesn't make sense most of the time, you need to have an understanding why that's the case rather than just being told never do this. And then everything just becomes a mess because you're doing these weird inconsistent tricks to try to make your writing good rather than just understanding good story craft. Here's the only true three mistakes you're making. One, not reading. Two, not writing. And three, not thinking critically about your writing or reading. So build that internal structure in your mind about 
how do I improve my craft as a whole and how do I make the bones of my writing and my story work? And then you can investigate all these different stylistic choices and all these different genre choices to try to figure out what rules are in each specific genre and what things you should generally avoid. But you, you need you just need the you need the bones, baby. You need the bones. Get the bones, baby. You need the bones. Get the bones, baby. Good grammar, good story structure, important stakes, theme. I got videos for this. Watch those videos. But just don't think that a 10 tricks are going to make you a good writer because it's you're doing it yourself a disservice. You just got to learn the craft, baby. And that's all I got. I don't I don't know how do these people drag videos to 10 minutes? How do they do it? It's amazing. Let me just say this. I'm also just a goober on the internet, right? So you can't just immediately take all my advice, and but there's a lot of internet goobers out there. But I, I am trying to help, and I, I guess I don't know. Just read books, bruh. And in fact, I could even give you books to read to practice. Hmm. If you want a free copy of my next novel, Finding Brian, leave a comment in this video. What I'll do when it's done is send it to everybody who wants one in exchange for an honest review. And I, I think that's a pretty simple story that can teach you kind of the foundations of making a beginning, a middle, an end, having a central theme, and it's written in a pretty interesting way. So if you want a free digital copy of that book, just holler. Other than that, I don't got nothing. Just just write well. Just write better. Just be better. Be better, baby. And stop following stupid rules. Read, write, and think critically about your reading and writing. That's all I got. Bye bye. Peace, peace. Pow, 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 reading, writing, pow, 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 p